So we can build our, our own ISOs and the content that's on here can be determined by you. You say install this and this on the ISO and this is the package list. This is going on there and you do it by changing the packages x86-64. Then you have fun. You test it out. You say up here a template and make a clone but I guess I have hyper yep down here and I tell them that the one that we've built together is an Argus B out hyper open start full screen and then since this is a UFI setup I have to go in here and tell VirtualBox please boot from the ISO and then we see this guys of virtual machines have VirtualBox you mean all that line one real metal stuff okay if you have a nvidia card a new one it's either this one or that one if you don't it's either this one or that one if anything a world of four fail then it's number five for you right so some of the machines out there don't like the nouveau driver being there so that's this line and this line off we go short summary that's what you do figure out what do I need on PC1, PC2, PC3, Laptop 1, 2, 3? Gonna be different, right? We all have these old machines, which actually should just die, <laughs> throw away. And the best machine is always the guy of Windows, right? Don't, don't. The other way around. Best machine in the house for Linux. Rubbish machine for Windows. Entirely up to you, of course. I am joking, but there is always a bit of truth behind a joke. <laughs> so you get just a, a, a greeting screen and it's okay. Easy installation, advanced installation. So those are options. If you're not well versed yet in Linux, then you go for easy installation. If you know the the, 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 the workflow, the packages, what you want to achieve, and probably advanced installation might be more liberating, more freedom for you. You choose the language you want to work in. My advice is just keep English. Why? Everything is online in English and you learn the technical words to Google or, or to the, the Go, right? Search engines use, well, the hits from search engines are in English. Wow, in the millions. That's why everything I'll teach will be in English. You decide what you install, up to you. I'm living in Brussels, more or less. In Belgium, with a Belgian key binding, next erase disk. You know the drill, choose whatever you want here in this stage. A password and login. Et voila. Off we go and we wait. Let's pause the recording. We're almost at the end, and there we are. Your present done, and then because of the, 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 the selection there, we boot immediately. This is UEFI, and, and enter. And then it's learning, right? This is not a video to learn or give you, teach you anything about hyper, control T. This is hyper, super Q. Well, super shift R reloads hyper. So if the key bindings are not working, when it's started, super Q again, and super shift Q, super shift R. So reload if key bindings are not present. Any time window manager, good to repeat that in the video, is super control alt enter. Let's do that. Control shift enter. Okay, super shift D, the D menu, you launch Firefox. If it's installed, you can launch it, okay. Uh, what else? Super Q, super shift Q, super Q, super X. Log out again. That's all you need to know to get, uh, to start off with um, tiling window manager in general. So that's it for me, super X. Shut down. Sorry, S. Yes. <laughs>